Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you some basics in C programming. Well, I'm using Visual Studio for this. It allows me to write my code and see the outcome. I put the link in the description for you guys to download it. Notice you're gonna download it using torrent. Alright, here we start. First, we need to include this library. So we say hashtag include studio.h. What it actually means is that studio.h stands for standard input output. This is responsible for printing messages and getting data from the user. Now I'm going to be adding the main function. The main function is where I write my code and do all the stuff. So I say int int main empty brackets and braces. Now I'm going to be adding this to a new line here to make it more clear. Now I'm going to be declaring the variable. So I say int var int stands for integer and var here is the variable name so the variable name is var and it is from type integer notice that i added semicolon well semicolon indicates that this line is over now i'm going to be printing message for the user using printf function so i'm going to be writing printf brackets and quotation marks and here I write whatever I wanted. So let's say hey there. And in the end, as we said above, semicolon to tell the compiler that this line is over. You can go to the other line. Now I go to the intro. Now let's say that I wanted to print another message. So I another time print f how old are you now notice that if I run this program now sentence number one and sentence number two are gonna be in the same line why because because why not <laughs> no seriously sentence number one and sentence number two are gonna be in the same line to prevent that I'm gonna be adding in the end of sentence number one backslash n so now we print this sentence hey there and now we go to another line new line this is new line and print if print the other sentence so it looks like this hey there how old are you each sentence in a new line now how old are you is that the computer says to the user Let's say that the user wanted to enter 40. Now, if he entered 40, it will go nowhere. Where is it going to be going? To save that 40, we need variable and we need to make it be saved to the memory. So, this function is called scanf. So, scanf is responsible for saving data from the user. Printf is responsible for printing message to the user. So scanf brackets and quotation marks and I write here now percentage d. We'll talk about this now. Well percentage d is responsible for printing and scanning data from integer types. So I, I, I write in percentage d and here I write ampersand var and semicolon as we said above what's, what's actually happening here is that the number that the number the user entering after the sentence how old are you I'm 10 years old so the 10 now the 10 now that's from integer type is going to var and I'm gonna be now adding something we'll talk about it later get ch ta, 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 return zero now now I'm gonna be printing this printf you are percentage d 
years old. You are percentage D years old. So it means that instead of percentage D, I'm going to be printing integer value. And between the quotation marks and the brackets, I'm going to be entering what value I'm going to be printing instead of percentage D. So I say var and then semicolon. What's happening here that I say I'm printing you are the value in the variable years old. That's it for today. I hope you like it guys. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.